What's going on with the YouTube is boy 345 German in today's video. We're gonna be unboxing a pack that I ordered for the 345 man. So we're about to get the emo RT right, man. So make sure y'all stick it to the end because we're gonna show y'all the before and after. And as y'all can see, I got on a little house fit. I wasn't planning on doing nothing today, but my package came a lot early, so I'm about to go ahead and open this up and I'm about to go ahead and put it in for y'all. As y'all can see. I got the yellow fog lights right now, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm not fucking with them, so. I got the LEDs, but I got fog lights that's yellow, so. As y'all can't see. And then this one fell. I don't even know if y'all was able to see, but. Y'all some ill supporters if y'all never noticed, but. This fog light at the bottom been out for at least like a good three weeks, y'all. So, we're going to go ahead and put that back in and then install some new lights. We're going to start off at the right side. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn our steering wheel all the way to the left so we can get the right side done. And that way, we're going to have the space to do it. This was my messed up side anyway. So, what we're about to go ahead and do, y'all, is open up this retainer clips real quick. And then, we're going to open up the fog lights next so I can get these off real quick. And then, I'm going to go ahead and replace them with some new ones because I don't know how good these old ones is. From what I've seen them do on YouTube is you want to get it below the clip. Uh-oh, if I can. There we go. You want to get it up below it. Then you want to just work your way. And they said that you want to do it this way too. When y'all doing it, y'all want to make sure the back of this is not facing this way so it don't chip your paint y'all. So like if y'all get up here, make sure y'all not doing it this way, do it this way instead so you don't chip your paint when this is coming backwards this way if you know what i'm trying to say we're about to get these four out real quick and then i'm gonna pick up the camera and show y'all what it looks like behind so y'all can see the process y'all some of mine was in there real good so yeah you do gotta fight around with it y'all that's my last one i got right here but just go ahead try to pull it out mine some of them been breaking coming out that's how you know it's kind of like an old clip so that's why i'm saying i'm gonna just go ahead and replace them with the new uh-oh Oh man, what the fuck is you doing, cuz? But when it break, it's fine. You could just do this. You could just either pull it out or push it in. If that makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and push it in. That way it'll fall. But I'm gonna go ahead and replace them with the new ones. Pull this for it and then show y'all what we gotta do. One thing, y'all, it's a small flathead. I mean, not a flathead, a Phillips screwdriver that you gotta take out right there. Ten we're about to say, we're not gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna be using this. But we're just gonna go ahead and get that out. Just gotta remember that this one screw right here, gotta go back in, y'all, on both sides. So you got one screw, then you got the little clips. Then you should be able to just pull this forward to go ahead and work on your fog light. Here go our brand new fog lights. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this forward. Oh shit, look at this old paint chips and shit. Um, you're gonna flip this forward, you're gonna grab your fog light. I don't know if y'all can see mine's right there, but you're gonna grab it, you're gonna unscrew it, you're gonna unscrew. Oh shit, let me not damage my shit before I even get it in. You're gonna unscrew it and you're gonna pretty much just, it's push and play. Y'all see, so you'll just plug it in right here if that makes sense. So I'm gonna show y'all if I can get a good angle real quick. This is the part that you wanna take your, so look, this is the old one. I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with the new one. You just plug it right in and then you're gonna hit stick it right back in the fog light. So I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all, we was firm fighting with the first one, but we finally got it back in and then we pushed it back in place. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these clips back in. And then we're going to screw on our screw first is what we're going to do just so I make sure I got that in though. We're going to look at our clips and we're going to try to find one that matched the biggest where the closest towards it so we can go ahead and replace it with these new ones. Hey, I done found some little clips that look like they work just a little bit so I'm about to get these in there. Look down. Boom, we got one more. Two more. No, I'm going to Pretty much do the same process. You pull out the clips, unscrew the screw, pull it forward, take out the old one, put it in the new one, poke and play. Finish with the uh, right side, let's go on to the other side. So I done turned the wheel this way, of course. Y'all know we gotta turn the wheel again, so. Uh, let me sit down. Let me go ahead and start with these ones. Same process, y'all. Y'all take out y'all four clips on each side and do it from the inside, like I said, just so you don't chip your paint when you do it this way. So do it from the inside. Try to uh oh, so you just like like that. You don't want to get paint off. Yeah, this. Take the same thing. Go to do it this way. I'm gonna lie. But I'm gonna catch up with y'all when I get these out because y'all do gotta fight one because of how how old they've been in here and stuff like that. So 
I'm gonna catch up with y'all in a second. And like I said, if y'all break them, it's alright because once they come off, you'll be able to just take the pins out if that makes sense. They're gonna fall right down. So give me one second. Back to fighting with this again, y'all. I got less space, but uh. I can barely see my light, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my flashlight. But when I get this light bulb out, I'm gonna go ahead and place it with the old one. Day two. I'm still stuck on my my driver's side, y'all. So I don't know if y'all can see it right there. My bulb had popped as I was trying to take it out too. But what it is is my clip is stuck. So what I gotta do is I gotta get my flathead and I gotta try to pry it out type shit because the way it fell. I mean, not the way it fell. By the way, it's in. It won't let my uh, light bulb come out so I can replace it and put it in a brand new one right here. So let me go ahead and get this out real quick. Yep, as y'all can see, that's the old one right here. And then that's the brand new one right there. But I got to get this one out on this side so I can replace it with the brand new one. And then I got to go back to my other side. And I got to motherfucking fix my ball began y'all because it fell out of place and i gotta figure out how to keep it back in place how it was originally i don't know how they had them in place so i gotta figure out what they did to keep them in place real quick so give me one second y'all and then i'm gonna catch up with y'all boys in a second so like i said you want to flip this out i didn't put all my clips back in because i knew i was still gonna be working on this project so um let me just go ahead and like i said hold on let me try to pick it up now. So, that rig, damn, it's not a good enough angle, but I'm going to show y'all whenever I get the chance. All right, y'all, we finally done got this out, bro. We done broke the red pin on it, so I don't know if y'all can see it now, but the red pin is in here, bro. This is what we had to take, and then you just plug and play, but I done broke the red pin from us, so hopefully it'll go right in how it's supposed to, but pretty much you plug and play this, and then you screw it right back into that little opening circle right there that y'all can see. So this is a real tight space, so I got my phone behind this, so I apologize for how y'all actually see it, but you push this back in, and then you go ahead and just screw this in, and you screw it towards the right jaw, so that's how you get it back in. The right side in, so now, well not right side, we got the left side in, so now we're going to push these pins back in, and then we're going to get on the left side, and we're going to go ahead and fix that side, but as y'all can see, like I said, I popped this, but that's cool because it still works, so we ain't got to worry about this bulb. The car again, turn it on. Turning it all the way to this side now, so I can work on this side. So now we're just going through our pins, see which ones match the closest to what the fit these. Like this one at the bottom, y'all see, it's real thick at the bottom, y'all. Y'all see, but that one, this one, low-key finished. So we're gonna replace this one too. But um, you need one, two, three, four pins, and then I believe you needed a screw, but that was from my other side. So this side, it looked like it's cool, but you just need four pins on this side, y'all. So go ahead, put your four pins here that you find that match up to look like the one at the bottom, like I said. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the other side and fix the other uh, fog light. Our little four pins replaced, as y'all can see. So now we better go ahead and go to the other side. All right, y'all. So back to the side. Uh, I don't even know why the fuck I put these brand new pins back in it, but I got to take these back out again because it's fucked up. So... Let me go ahead and replace this side real quick. Well, let me take these pins out and then fix my fog. I like to figure out why I keep falling down, y'all. And I'm gonna catch up with y'all in a second. I had the wheel turned the wrong way, y'all. So let me take this screw out. Uh, go ahead, you take this out. Boom. Now we got exposure to the fog light, as y'all can see. Like I said, it's back on the flow right here. Once again, we got another screw right there, but I'm not gonna take that one out. I'ma just go ahead and put it up and work with what I got. I'm gonna just pull this out a little bit so I got some more space. But as y'all can see, I'm about to go ahead and try to figure out how my housing keep falling down. And then I'm about to uh, put it back up there and then y'all gonna see the after effect pretty much. So we finally got it back in. So now let's make sure that they both work. I'm about to go ahead and turn it on real quick for y'all boys. And then I'm gonna let y'all see what they look like. First, we gotta go ahead and put my um, fender liner back. Whatever, protect, whatever the fuck you wanna call this it. And then I gotta put the screw back in and then get my four, um, four push pins. The bottom. Uh-oh. Bottom, the bottom ain't really gonna fit it look like. Let me find those clips that I was using again. It look like these ones right here. Boom, just like that. Y'all see how these clips push right in. Boom. And then we're gonna hit the last one at the bottom with this one since it's probably not the same. 
Oh, it definitely is, but I guess the bottom just don't fit as good. Okay, so the bottom. We just gotta worry about the bottom for a fit, but. Um, let me cut it on now, y'all, so y'all can see the finished product. This is how my mama told me to down to the coma. He want beef, he can have it. Roll up, roll up with the big pet straps. I'm causing havoc. If you wanna feed, you can. Have Solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes, I'm gon' mow it. I'm gon' blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Bib ain't rock, can't fall.